So this isn't the episode that I plan to do this week, but this is the episode that we have. So that episode is going to be moved next week because given the recent events of this weekend, I reached out to my good friend Brian, who we just had on a couple weeks ago, and the feedback on our episode was really good. You know, they didn't necessarily mean more downloads, but there were more people who kind of chimed in and said, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I didn't know about this candidate. I didn't know about that website. I really like your guys' opinions on things. Neither one of us, I don't believe, are too left or right leaning. We're just people trying to live our world and kind of sit back and pay attention to things. You know, and with you being, you know, former military and, and having the Warriors vision, a Warriors collection network to see through it, which is kind of seeing through a lot of the BS that's going on. You know, I figured this would be a great time to reach out to you and, and get you back on so that we could talk about this for a couple of minutes. So I'm being joined by a friend of mine, good friend of mine, Brian Sales. You know, welcome back so quickly. This is a record being yeah, back on this podcast. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. And I'm surprised the, the engagement was up. That's that's good. But don't yeah, get don't, great. Don't, don't get too used to it because you know this is not this is not our lane. We don't we don't do this. A thousand percent. And I think maybe that's what <laughs> some people you know appreciated. And other people mm -hmm. might chime in and say, "You guys have no idea what you're talking about." Blah 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 blah. You know, but. It's funny because I continually say that I'm. This is a non-political podcast because yeah. it's a car-centric podcast, but it's even barely cars, you know. So if someone's tuning into this for the first time, this is not our typical conversations. But when when mm -hmm. things go on in our society that are society shaking, right? Major. I like to talk about it. You like to talk about it, and I think a lot of people are afraid to talk about it because they don't yeah. want to be canceled or say the wrong thing. Yeah. You know, in fact, you know, I would never have, this doesn't mean you're not a celebrity because you're not, but I would never have, you know, like a high profile guest on here and ask them the things that I would ask you about and talk about the things that I would talk to you yeah. about unless that was their specific lane. Right. Because, you know, we live in that world where things are so granular and people look at everything you say and try to cancel you or attack you for stuff. So yeah. with all that being said, today we're recording this on Sunday um, July 14th, yesterday, should we say what we were just laughing, talking about, or should we say it like it is? Because I would say yesterday there was a, an alleged possible yeah. assassination oh attempt on, uh, <laughs> on former president wow. Donald Trump during a rally. And, um, and I wanted to get your thoughts about that. Uh, well, that part is, so. <laughs> that part is the, the mind blowing part that how they view it, the alleged possible like when have we ever used that <laughs> next to a president like possible like we all saw the video we, we saw what how are you not sure that his ear was bleeding and the secret service had to jump oh, we, what did you watch that we didn't see <laughs> i'm not understanding yeah it's it, we this is a it's crazy but yeah that's my immediate reaction to that uh, when i heard that over and over again and they're all all of them was repeating the same thing alleged possible and i was like really alleged and possible what, what do you think that is and in everything i ask you i obviously have a response and and, and an opinion of as well but why do you think that was the play and not everybody was doing that and i don't remember i don't i want to say it was fox or cnn one of those two led with possible yeah uh actually i i i was watching some something from bbc i think they slipped it in there uh, someone from Skynet AU, I believe, it, or whatever that is, they slipped it in there. Uh, and it's all to, what's the word? They maybe desensitize or make you think that this was, you know, not as bad as as it seems. Because we all, you know, Nancy also chimed in uh, to try to put the spotlight on her situation when you know, that guy broke into her house, right? And then we had another politician do the same thing, try to put the, the spotlight on them as they, like, they're trying to be victims again. And it was just like, man, what? Like, if this was someone else, all these people would just be, like, be sending out their, their condolences and or, you know, whatever the case may be, they would be tossing up flowers, just saying the nicest things as possible. But they were trying to, like, water it down and make it not seem as bad. Like, we don't know, even Joe Biden even said, I, I need all the facts. They, they asked him a question. Do you think that was an uh, assassination attempt? And I, the jur I, I couldn't believe the journalist said that. I was like, what are we talking about here? 
what kind of question is that? Joe Biden said, well, I need all the facts first. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to defend old man Joe on that a little bit just because, <laughs> you know, after, after listening, cause you know, I posted that feed and I, that's the first time other than when you used to do those that I've ever listened into a room on X. You know, I did it with Clubhouse a few times enough to get mm-hmm. sick of Clubhouse and never use it again. But it was it was a different feel because in that room, as you saw, there were some very significant people that have opinions that you should at least listen to. Some of them are a little wackier, like, the, you know, a- Andrew Tate was in there when I was first listening to it. And he said some things that made sense and a lot of super deep conspiracy, crazy stuff where, you know, that, that would be true in every movie that I've seen. Every mm-hmm. Tom Clancy thing I've seen, yeah. uh, but I don't know if we can jump to those things right now. Right. And God forbid they are all true, as crazy oh. as this world is that he says. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess I don't need to know. I guess I need to just keep on listening to the lighter stuff and go about my day. But there's a lot of people in that room that made a lot of sense. And a lot of former Secret Service, uh, a lot of former, you know, as top of a tier military snipers as you can get. You know, people that have moved on to political positions and other things and, and experts in their field that have that made a lot of comments on that. And, you know, one thing that Andrew Tate did say that made sense is, is you know, Biden, there's no way he would have known anyway because that's, you know, plausible deniability. Like, you know, it's a need-to-know basis if if that were, an, and I'm getting, getting ahead of this, if this was some sort of a deep state cover-up internal, you know, job. Mm-hmm. But I guess the point of that is giving him a pass a little bit that, you want to make sure you have that information confirmed, I guess, before you, the president of the greatest country, you know, as we call it in the United States and the world, the leader of the greatest country in the world to come out and say stuff like that. But a lot of people, I mean, to me, it was obvious, right? And, you know, I got in some of my friend groups and one of my, and, you know, you can't, you know, politics is one of those things, right? Like religion and and society, racial issues, where you have to be very careful, even around your close friends, mm-hmm. you know, um, and, and and careful as in not trying not to judge them for their mm-hmm. opinions or their their lack of taking certain things serious, you know, or their over seriousness of things that aren't really that serious, you know. And so one of my good friends has said, "Well, they're saying that as a paintball gun, you know, and it's all staged, and that's that's clearly paint because a paintball gun sounds just like." a real weapon. I was like, who is they, you know, who, who is they saying that this is? And he's like, well, it's people in different groups. I'm like, okay, well, but he's also a deep, 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 deep Trump hater. Yeah. But even, even he has said after the last debate that he goes, we got, we can't, he goes, I hate Donald Trump. Uh, but I, I can't vote for Biden. We got to get somebody else in there. This is a joke. Um, but my response to him is outside of this rumor 22 that was there, and you would know this, and this is why you're on here, because I'm not a tactical guy, but I have shot some pretty high caliber weapons, yeah. whatever the terminology is, as recent as last summer in my cousin's house. And they didn't sound like no paintball gun that I've ever done when I've done paintball yeah, courses I, before in the past. No, that didn't sound like that. I, I don't know what type of paintball gun, unless it's a heavily modified paintball gun. I don't I, I, and this guy yeah. isn't a, I don't think, I don't know if he's ever gone paintball shooting or ever shot a real weapon, to be honest with you. I yeah, don't know. I don't, I don't know about that one. I, that didn't even cross my mind that it was a paintball right. gun. <laughs> like, that didn't, mm-mm. What's and, the first thing, what's the first thing Brian Sales thought about when you saw it? Because by the time that you had chimed in on our chat, Wes and I had already been talking about it for quite a while because I actually, yeah. he actually sent me the link and I was like, wait, what? And I went right to Twitter right to google and i go holy crap this is happening and that's yeah. when i posted it on social media myself <laughs> and then i just for the next three and a half hours i just yeah, did nothing yeah. but consume it and i i didn't yeah. watch it on my tv because i knew that i was going to be watching fox cnn mm-hmm. or something else and i went right to twitter because honestly as much as i hate twitter or x because i did get off of it for a while like i said last time and i was thinking about getting off of it again before what happened this weekend yeah because it's that negative yeah 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 but it is always there's there's nowhere else for breaking news, nowhere yeah. else for nowhere breaking else. important yeah. news. It, 
I don't. I forgot what I was watching initially, but uh, that came across actually Candace. I saw Candace Owens on her YouTube live, and I was like, oh, Tr Jesus. Trump assass or an attempted assassination. I was like, what? Ain't no way. So I'm watching it. I was like, oh snap! And then she played the video. I was like, whoa! Like they really tried to take out Trump. It's 2024. That's pretty bold with all the cameras. You know, right. all the people. Like that is a bold move, and. I don't think a normal human being is like, you know what? This is enough. I'm sick of him. It's time to wipe him out. I, I, that, I don't believe that at all. I, I, that, there's no way you can convince me that a normal American would be like, you know what? I'm doing this. I don't believe that. They, they've had to been coached, brainwashed, whatever, inside job. Well, there's a lot of brainwashed is. people, though. Make no mistake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but absolutely. That it had to be. You know, something like that that made that person get up there. But I saw another video clip where I'm like, I heard three shots go off. And Secret Service, Secret Service finally got up there and, you know, jumped on them. I'm like, oh, that's a weird delay. Three shots? And it wasn't like bang, 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 bang. It was bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, so I just, for, just for, you know, note, I just finished up a course for executive protection. I'm an executive protection agent. So it's on the same line as a secret service agent. Um, we're trained to react quickly. Three shots is, and they wasn't like rapid, bang, bang, bang. It was bang, bang, bang. The video I saw was bang. Sniper people, the counter sniper team is up on the building. Look like they have someone in their sights. They're looking. I can't say if they see him, but they're looking. And 10 seconds goes by, Trump's talking, and then the first shot rang out, second shot, and then I think they shoot at him or whatever the case may be. But there's so many questions, even right now while I'm thinking about it, there's so many questions. I have so many questions. I feel like this is all, they they, I don't, they wanted to take him out. Yeah, That's I don't know at. if you consumed, if you, because I became obsessed with it yesterday when it happened. What time I did you go to bed? here in my room. Well, I, I turned everything off. I mean, you so know. you watched it for what, three, four hours? I was up here in the in the office working on some things and listening to the feed on X, that room that had, you know, yeah. um, some very significant people in it. And just listening to it and then just rolling the feed and watching interviews and videos and kind of mm -hmm. picking out what I felt was legit because there's people are weird, right? Because we we have already talked about how X is kind of a really crappy place, and so people throwing out all sorts of conspiracies and pointing the finger here and pointing the finger there, and then you, of course you have the diehard diehard left people coming out. You have the diehard right people coming out, and I'm just like, oh my god, like this this is the problem with unlimited free speech. And I know that's a very controversial thing for me to say, <laughs> but you and I both agree with this in a certain sense, where I think that. You obviously have a freedom of speech. That's what this country is. Uh, but there's certain things that should be illegal, criminal. You know, burning the flag is your constitutional right. But I think that should be punishable by a felony misdemeanor or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can, you you know, just like hate speech. Hate speech isn't really permissible. You can be, pen, you know, penalized for hate speech. Yeah. And, I don't know. But that's, don't get me going down that whole freedom of, freedom of speech rant. Um uh, but there's just a lot of BS, you know, and there's a lot of people that are being called out. And I think the very first thing, and I knew it, as soon as this happened, it's the Democrats are trying to kill him. It's the Democrats, Democrats. And that just brought out all the Democratic hate. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> because I understand how people would come to that conclusion immediately. It's it's a snap reaction, right? Yeah. It's a snap reaction. But what if, what if that's what somebody wanted? Yeah. And so... That's a very conspiratorial thing to say. I don't know if conspiratorial is a word. Maybe I just made it up. But, you know, that's a very <laughs> conspiracy thing to, to think. But that's where my brain goes is when this stuff's happened. First off, is it real? And then once you see a couple different video clips, you're like, okay, this actually happened. Right. So it is real. Okay, right. was it staged? Probably not. Was it staged and something went wrong? Mm -hmm. You know, was it? I, mean, this, I think these are all the thoughts that go through everyone's head. I mean, even my wife was like, is it real? Because I ran outside and go, babe, they just tried to kill, you know, Trump in, in one of the Trump rallies. Is it real? I said, yeah, it's real. Well, you know, don't blame me for asking. I'm like, well, don't blame me for asking because that's the society we live in right now. Right, right, right. And then we we turned on the Spanish channel because my mother's always watching that. And they were talking about it there. And 
So from that point, I became consumed with it. But there's so many things that are kind of weird here. Wait. And so did you go immediately to thinking it was Democrats? I don't like after think you so. confirmed that it was okay. Okay. I don't think so because I the thought is who would have done this? You know, my wife calls me a conspiracy theorist, which is hilarious because I'm not. But what I like to do is kind of collect all the data that's available to me and make my own opinion based on what's given to me, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm a I'm a guy, I'm very imaginable, you know, with things and very curious. And it's like, well, what if? You know, what if this was a bipartisan cover up? Because honestly, yeah, we think Biden's insane and we wish he would step down. But there's people that have come out on definitely obviously the Democrats, right? But there's people who've come out on the Republican yeah. side and they said don't want we 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 don't need Donald Trump. We this is the yeah. worst thing that could happen, but we sure yeah. as hell don't want Biden. Yeah. There's people on the Biden side that say we cannot have Biden up there. He has to go, but we sure as hell don't want Trump. So it's not beyond, you know, the realm of possibility. It would be super movie-like, right? Mm -hmm. um, but when people start pulling in, okay, the JFK thing and this and that, and who shot Ronald Reagan, da, 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 you know, or who's trying to kill Ronald Reagan. It's just, is this the CIA? You know, where, you know, where did the security fail? And so I've listened to people come online and talk about the sniper, the sniper position, similar to what you were saying. Uh, one of the guys... I think his name was Marco something. And he used to work on um, protection detail for Barack. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that that is the most boring, worst job that's glorified on TV is being in the secret service or working president detail because nothing ever happens. There's a lot of turnover in those positions. They don't get paid anything. It's one of the highest divorce rates. And, mm -hmm. I don't think the average agent doesn't last more than a couple of years before transferring out. So you, basically what that means is there's a lot of people that are working those high security positions that have zero experience mm -hmm. and the training suffers. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it should have never got to the point where 10 days prior they would have been walking those areas and marking everything off and no one would have been able to come. But I think the biggest difference that no one's really talking about is obviously – like, I don't think that would have ever happened under Biden's watch as up there because he is the president mm -hmm. and Donald Trump is the former president. And so former mm -hmm. presidents don't get the same level of security detail. Mm -hmm. Like it's, I'm not trying to excuse what happened because it's, it's a failure. It is a security failure. Right. Mm -hmm. But people keep saying, well, when I saw a video on, on Twitter, someone was saying, well, when someone tried to take a shot at Reagan security, secret service jumped on him immediately. Like immediately. And mm -hmm. that's what you're supposed to do. That's what people that I was listening to said, you're trained to do that. You're trained to throw your life, everything you've learned your whole life, exact opposite. You hear bullets duck. No, you hear bullets jump and become yeah, the yeah. the yeah. vest, like just like with the movie Bodyguard, right? Become the vest of the person mm -hmm. that you're supposed to protect. And then the poor lady who's now in charge of everything, who's just getting grilled all over social media or all over Twitter for being in charge of the security detail. I guess used to work at Frito Lay before she got mm. the head p position wow. over the, yeah, over the the president. Or you know, I mean, obviously, you know, Trump's not the acting president, but she had a very obviously high position. And so now she's being laid out to dry because she doesn't have the experience. But you did you see the video of them trying to put him in the car? And she was terrified. Yeah, yeah. You could tell, like, yeah. I yeah, don't know what I would have done in that position, but I'm also not trained to be in that position. She had, it, she struggled taking her gun out. She struggled putting her gun in, you know, and it's just she, like. She was even short. She shouldn't even been in front of him. She shouldn't have been yeah. in. Like we talk about the optics um, when, when I was doing the class and like we can visually see his head. We shouldn't have been able to see his head. If she's going right. to be, we, he, if the, so if the, I'm not saying this to, to I'm, well, okay. If someone else was out there, so if they had two shooters, the first shooter was a distraction just to draw the attention. And now the, if the other shooter is directly in front of him, he would have been popped. Like he was standing there doing all, they should have forced him down. He could have been popped so many times. And I was like, that is, who, who's, who was these people that's up there? It was just, it, 
it it didn't it did not rub me the right way to know that was secret service and like that that's bad training or whatever it, it was just bad and for them to take so long to get the car up like so many bad things could have happened and she's probably going to end up losing her job or she's probably going to end up quitting but there's two jobs that are definitely going to be lost during this yeah because that that was it was horrible i was like ugh. Is <laughs> just ugh, and if you're in that field, you just you just see all the red flags. That's a red flag, red flag, red flag. What is going on? And I don't see. You know, we got the the RNC convention. Was it this upcoming week in Milwaukee? They're not going to allow anyone to move around in that city. That's that's going to be yeah, insane. That's a, that's a thousand percent. And you know, a lot of the stuff that was being said. You know, it's it's. When you have a, 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 such a limited resources on Secret Service at an event like that, they lean on local law enforcement and other agencies, and there was just a, a gross failure of communication across the board. There was, because this was only about 150, 60 yards away, which yeah. isn't really anything. Nope. And there were, on Hold record, on. one or two, go ahead. I was just, when my wife said, I, my wife heard them say 150 yards. I was like, yeah, babe, remember I showed you how to shoot that? She said, yeah, that's an easy shot. Like, she knows 150 yards is nothing. That guy, whoever took that, should have should have been able to take out Trump. And for them not to have that perimeter set or even have people up on all the buildings was just a, that's a huge red flag. 150 yards is not far at all. That is a easy shot unless you're in a blizzard or something where the wind is like whipping 60 miles and then maybe, but still that's. But that doesn't it also depend on your, your weapon? Well, yeah, you're saying I mean, they found an AR 15 there, an AR 15 22. And I got to think about it like this easy shot for your wife, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'd be an easy shot for me, but I don't have a, a husband or in my case, a wife <laughs> that's a tactical, you know, trainer like you are. Right. But the guy's laying down, prone position, probably nervous as shit. Yeah. Right? Um, so I can see how he would miss. I think that they say with, with Trump turning his head as if someone said something yeah. to him, that may have actually saved his life because yeah. the bullet, like his statement came out, that did take off part of his ear or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that, right? Uh, but I think that... There was a couple, not I think, but there was a couple people that were eyewitness to pointing the guy out. Mm -hmm. And they said, hey, Sheriff, I actually saw a video of the guy. He like filmed him and you could see the guy running because the camera was all over the place. He's like, hey, there's a guy over there. There's a guy over there. There's a guy over there. Hey, there's a guy over there. Um, but I think it's, in listening to that, people aren't trained. Like regular everyday people like myself. Well, I'm a little more cool headed. I'm going to give myself credit for that because I am. But, you know, most people aren't trained on how to... Like, if you see something like that, he was frantic, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just like, I, I probably would have reported it differently, but still would have made sure that I got it reported. Yeah. Um, but that's a breakdown of communication. Yeah. If he told the law officer, it's their job to radio immediately, said, hey, we got a guy over here on the roof. A couple of people are saying they see a guy crawling up a roof over here and they reported that he may have a, a weapon in his possession. We're not sure. And then this, okay, where is it? Okay, it's about, you know, where's your position? You know, it's my two o'clock. Well, where's your two o'clock? So I, I could imagine there's a little bit of delay there in trying yeah. to figure out exactly what he was talking about. Because to your point and what we could see on the video, they had either spotted this guy or were scoping and looking for this guy aggressively when Trump was still up there talking. Mm -hmm. And well, there's a lot of people who say, well, the guy aimed down the sights and maybe you could speak to this. And he come, came off the site, and then he went back down on the site. And I've read some experts, self-proclaimed experts, so I have no reason to believe that they're not, based on what they're saying, and listen to them talk about it. And it's very believable. But what do you think was going on there? And I'll, I'll tell you what was explained to me, or maybe I should, do you want me to tell you what was explained to me first, and you yeah. can comment on that? So to be so close, right, 150 yards, those guys, their scopes are, I think, three or 400 yard scopes because you're not expecting somebody to be yeah. literally right there. Right. And as I say this, thinking back to when I was shooting the high caliber assault rifle last year, I, the cans that we were looking at were 40, 50 yards in front of us. I could see them plain as day. But as soon as I put down my eye down that scope, I, it takes me, I can't find the damn thing. Mm -hmm. 
because the scope is so strong and it focuses so much. Right. I have to kind of lift up and be like, oh, okay, there it is. So their thought is that they knew the guy was there, but they couldn't get him in scope. And then they kind of looked up to confirm, looked down and took the shot. Mm. So I would say usually snipers have a spotter. So the sniper is actually a guy. Not. Yeah, there was a guy right next to him as right. well. And I'm, so, but he also had a, a gun too, but no one's talking about him. Yeah, he's, he could have taken one of the shots because we heard a yeah. handful of shots after the fact. Yeah. So I, 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 I like the sniper has a spotter and he's supposed to be identifying and telling them where he is. So you have Just four like eyes. Movies. Yeah. So <laughs> you have four eyes or you have, you have two eyes on the situation to identify where where's the location where is this person at and then i would even throw in the fact that you know it's 2024 every agency every department has drones why are drones in the sky mm. they're quiet they're right why i i like all the security companies that i've been trying to you know get in touch with for work, they all are offering drones, like drone operators, uh, positions for whatever, you know, just regular high value uh, um, people, like bank executives or whatever. Like you can follow them with a drone to make sure they're protected or whatever. Why doesn't President Trump have the same thing? Well, drones, it, one drone. All you need is one drone in the sky doing a rally, and you, you will be able to identify the threat you know, on the rooftop. Threats. Oh, no, oh yeah, it's it, and there was no there was no trees where that man was, so he wasn't covered. There by were trees. some there were trees there, but I don't know if, if if in the line obviously not in the line of sight because he had to have a clear line of sight. Right now, and I'm saying by the buildings, the, I'm just saying by the buildings there weren't no trees like covering that rooftop because they did an right, overview right. and you could see like it, it was he was there. So why don't they have drones? What was the spotter looking at? Uh, I, I want to see how I want to know how 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 much time they have in that service, like how much time or training did they have as a sniper uh, spotter? Because that's their job to spot things quickly, so that you going don't going back to what I said about the lack of uh, training. But I mean, if you if you're in that position, if you're if you are if you have enough training to be on that rooftop behind that rifle on that tripod, like we saw, to your point. Trained, right? It's not like you're you're not a green guy, you know. As you're talking about that, I'm wondering how long is it going to be until the audio comes out, the communications oh, yeah. audio. Yeah, because isn't that public? I, mean, I think that's public record. I know when the police officers are talking to each other, that's public record. But what about the Secret Service, though? Right, that's what I'm saying. Because then you can hear the communication. Hey, we got a guy over here that's saying that there's a guy on the roof. Yeah. Hey, what's your twenty? Blah 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 over here. Like, where is that communication so we right. can see what the delay is? Did we ever get the communications from the the January six when all that happened? That we get the radio. I don't conversation? know because I'll be honest, I didn't really look into it. Oh, okay. I saw it happening on TV, and I'm like, oh my god, what a what a shit show! I don't even <laughs> this just I don't even want to know well, yeah. what the hell is going on here. <laughs> and I think at that point, I may have already kind of bumped off of Twitter. Yeah, but yeah, I never you heard know. anyone say about anything about the radio, the the comms, or anything. So. We probably don't, I don't think we get that type. I think we only get local stuff. We're not privy yeah. to the the upper. But somebody, somebody is investigating. Yeah. So what do you think? I mean, at the end of the day, because this is what people want to know. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Was it a radical acting on their own, a radical with a little bit of help? You know, who do you think is ultimately responsible for this at the end of the day? So let's fast track. Let's fast forward. FBI does as thorough of an investigation as they did on January 6th, where they're nabbing people who you know, were there, not necessarily the storm of the Capitol and throwing them in jail for incredibly long sentences, which a big ruling came out on that recently as well. So they're probably going to get out of jail. But let's fast track to 12 months from now. You know, what do you think is going to be discovered? What do I think is going to be discovered? It's going to be discovered that uh, that they didn't do their jobs. They didn't, they didn't really secure the area. They went there. Uh, it was a probably like uh, it's, we're gonna find out that it was a last minute stop. Yeah, let's stop in Pennsylvania. So we didn't have time to scope the location out. Um, we were short. Uh, we had to grab someone from a local department to be our sniper. 
um, you know, some of the sheriffs, they're only there for part time. You know, we're a small town, so he didn't really know what to do. He's actually one of the guys that helps traffic. That, that, that's what we we're going to. Everyone was incompetent and under trained and it's going to be local uh, departments. Uh, it's going to be their fault for not having the funds to do it. That's what we're going to hear. Funding, no funding, not enough bodies, uh, improper training. That's what we're going to hear. And it's not going to be anything uh, of value to to understand why this took place. It's always going to be those little things. What about the deep state conspiracies? You know, was this a wacko acting on their own or is oh. this did, – did somebody how – did, how did he get access to crawl up that rooftop 150 yards away from former President Trump to at a rally? And again – the security isn't going to be as tight as it would have been if it was Joe Biden, just because Joe Biden is the president of the United States. It should be, obviously, but you know how is that going to be explained? Was this planned? <laughs> he, he, his letter is already. They probably already found his, you know, uh, his death letter. Uh, what what do they call that? I forgot what they call that. Uh, you know, when they all his goodbye everyone, letter or his <laughs> yeah something yeah yeah so. He probably was homeless and he was already at that building and, you know, he just came up on top and had the rifle and was just deranged from all the nonsense that was going on and decided to take a shot. I, it doesn't matter what we hear, what they come out with, but it's it, it's not going to make sense it, because as we learn in this from Pat, many events, none of the things that they say add up. It just gives us another question. Like we now we have I guess three more questions on top of that. I guess already today, Sunday, the day after this uh, this murder attempt, this assassination attempt, some news outlets are already coming out and saying that it's Donald Trump's fault because he incites this type of violence in our America or whatever. Um, I, <laughs> um, and then what about, you know, Biden said well, a week ago, it's time to put Donald Trump in the bullseye. So then people are saying that he asked for this, <laughs> you know, so maybe, which I think both are ridiculous, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but that, again, that just speaks to what we opened with the hot, the diehard lefters and the diehard writers, you know, and the, the news outlets that are being driven by both. Um, you know, I maybe this say, guy, go ahead. I'm just saying, I just want to say this, uh, you know, we see the extreme stuff on the left and we see the extreme stuff on the right and the extreme stuff on the right is going to be so loud that the extreme stuff on the left is going to have to try to catch up to it. But the extreme stuff on the right is going to be so loud that. If he, even if they do give us something of value, the stuff on the right that's going to be coming out, that's going to be making Trump seems like some kind of um, deity is going to be all the wall. I, I, I logged in it to today. I, logged, I looked at it today and the things that people are saying and like they already equating it to 7076. Like, he, he has the same blood that our forefathers. I was <laughs> so like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no. What, are you, what yeah, are you saying? Yeah. He was an old man that got shot at. That's what happened. He was an old man that was standing up there, defenseless, helpless, and was shot. He he didn't go out there leading the charge. He, what are y'all talking? We're not going to get anything. It's just going to be a bunch of garbage here and a bunch of garbage here, and the and, and the media is going to you know play with that garbage, and they going they going they going to choose they going to you know incite whatever side they want to incite to keep the real information from coming out, whatever that real information is. I'm telling you right now, I don't believe that person took it upon himself. I, I, I you know, there's a lot of people that talk trash. I, I, I know a lot of patriots that, you know, they're super patriot. They, they're sitting at home doing their everyday thing that they've been doing. They talk, the same people on the left, you know, even though they, they're out in the streets, but they're not doing these things. These people have been brainwashed or empowered to do to, to take that shot that 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 boy whoever he was that man was empowered to take that shot it's a 20 year either old by, yeah okay by brainwashing or some type of drug whatever the case may be but i don't believe that he woke up one that morning and was like you know what this is it i, I don't believe that we don't live in it's 2024 i can't i can't even tell you a 20 year old that has that type of uh gall to you know this people no i don't i no i don't know I don't man i would it. argue that that that's the age right like the Kyle Rittenhouse thing you know those people who are in their late teens early 20s that are going to change the world 
you know, they're going to be the one, they're going to be the trigger person. Um, they're going to be the one that, that has somehow solves world hunger you mm. know, and creates the longer lasting light bulb, creates the zero energy, you know, device that just changes everything. And, you know, I could see someone like that because this, this seems like it would be the traditional, the stereotypical depiction of a, of a Trumper, right? A diehard Trumper. Mm -hmm. uh, but it wasn't. Right. This is a guy who maybe he heard what Biden said and he goes, I'm going to be a hero. He's coming to town. I'm going to be a hero, you know, and just think that they're going to be that person. I mean, I don't I don't know. Right. But I agree. I don't think he just woke up that morning and decided. I think either he acted alone or was in like a small group of radicals. And he says, I'll be the one to do it. And we will be remembered for this glorious day. Or I don't know, man. But the fact that he was able to slip, get up on that rooftop. You know, something's going to come through somewhere, Planted. just like a movie. The guy who was in charge of that post was paid off by, he's, he's part of the same radical group. You know, it's like one yeah. of those heist movies where everybody's part of the crew. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't think that, and people are going to probably think I'm stupid for this. I don't think that the Democrats, the need to know small focus cell of these top secret Democrats that are designed to change the world, put something together and put that kid up on uh, up there to do it. You know, uh, that's the whole deep state conspiracy. I don't think that would happen. Uh, and if it does happen, I don't think we're ever going to know. But you know, yeah. one thing that I told Wes is Trump did say that if he's elected president, he's going to release all the JFK files. And so if you throw that into the whole conspiracy mix, it's like, Ooh, somebody doesn't want to blah, 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 blah. Right. So then we got to yeah. take this guy out. You know, and so when, you know, Tucker's coming out and he's, he's looking like a future teller because he had said a few, like a few weeks or a few months ago that only things left is, is to assassinate Trump. Like now people are coming out and saying that we warned you guys of this and we knew this was going to happen. It's like, what was that episode of the Simpsons that eventually came true like a year or 10 or 20 years later? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so people are like, they did it on the Simpsons 20 years ago or family guy or something like that. And this is, they told us this was going to happen. It's like, I mm -hmm. don't know, man. That's just, that's just a super weird string of coincidences. Uh, but one thing I will say to kind of wrap this up is first off, thank you for coming back. This has been kind of a fun conversation just to kind of talk to just another, you know, human being that has independent thought, you know, mm -hmm. we laugh and we joke about some of the stuff and we don't laugh and joke about other stuff. Um, uh, but at the end of the day, people like, because I've read this is staged, you know, Trump did this for more votes, you know, and how did that photographer just happen to get the perfect shot? Well, that's what these, he's, apparently it's a Pulitzer winner photographer. Mm -hmm. And those are the people who put themselves in the thick, Yeah, you know, and he, he ran over to the front as they're taking Trump off and he had the credentials to be there. So it's not like someone planted him there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, he got that, he got one of the greatest photos that I've seen in my life of, yeah you know, freedom in America. And, and yeah. I've had, I've seen people come out that say, I, I do not like Donald Trump. I never have, I never will, but that is a great shot. And, you know, it makes me proud to be an American today. Um, but there's, unfortunately there was, a, there was a life, another, at least one other life lost besides a shooter. Uh, you know, I know one guy got shot in the head and I watched the interview of the doctor who tried to save his life. And he said there was brain matter all over the place. Yeah. You know, Another woman got shot. I guess someone was uh, in, in critical condition. I don't know if they passed or not. As of this recording, I have not looked into it. It's very mm -hmm. exhausting, you know, to look into those things sometimes. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it doesn't, and I said this when we were talking before, the approval, people say, well, Biden has to step down now. Like, well, why? Why does he have to step down now because of what happened yesterday? And, you know, Donald Trump's, approval rating just shot up by like 20 something points. Now people are coming out like Elon Musk. I fully support and endorse Donald Trump. I'm like, my opinion of Donald Trump hasn't changed since we last spoke. Like I still don't know if I would vote for him, but I know that I would not vote for Joe Biden and I would not vote for Kamala Harris. I mean, that's, I, that hasn't changed for me. What is mm -hmm. any of that changed for you, Brian? No, I, he was, you know, someone tried to, I'm not saying I out. wouldn't vote for Donald Trump. I'm just saying I, I wouldn't, I, I can't look at what happened this weekend and say, yeah, damn it, and that, he's got yeah. my vote. Yeah, that people who do that, that's ridiculous. That's those are irrational human beings that should never be listened to, ever. Because that's 
<laughs> that's the, those are your roller coaster um you know providers yeah anytime something changes they they're ro- they rolling with that if the if the wave shift this way they roll in that way we need solid people and they're literally telling you i'm not solid it, i'm going wherever the wind blows if the wind goes up i'm going that way mm. your, your vote should not be changing just because he was shot at did you forget why you did not like him in the first place <laughs> what what changed him being you know almost killed that, that makes no sense. My, my, like I said, I'm still writing myself in. Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, they could have, you know, yeah, whatever. I'm, my, <laughs> I'm writing myself in. So, um, uh, no, nothing's changing. You know, I, I'm you're happy gonna that write he, me in. Oh, I did say that. Well, you gonna I'm gonna write you in as VP. So you okay? I'll take that because I don't know. want. Yeah, I don't want to be the, the one. <laughs> I don't want to be the one getting shot at, Brian. Hey, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy job. It's a crazy world. You know, it's a crazy world we live in, but yeah, I, people should not be changing their votes just, or, you know, changing how they feel just because someone was, you know, people die every day. Isn't that in a movie? Didn't someone say that in a movie? People yeah, die every day. it's true. Day. Part of the journey is the end. Um, with that being said, I think this is one of these paramount events. This is why we had to talk about it because I'm never... I don't think I'm ever going to forget. I may forget that it was July 13th because fortunately, regardless of what the sick people in the world think, fortunately, Donald Trump wasn't killed. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's one of those deals like, I would say September 11th, but a lot of people died September 11th. So yeah. you're never going to forget. Plus they remind us every year. Yeah. But it's one of those those events that you just, you know, OJ Simpson chase. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're just never going to forget George Floyd. We're just never going to forget in our American history in at least in our lifetime that those, those are major things that happened while we were around and yeah. we're just never going to forget that the attempt yeah. on Donald Trump. Yeah. That's never, yeah, that's never going anywhere. That's is because it's just, it's, again, it's 2024. The last time something happened like that was like what? 70s, 60s. I didn't think I was going to see something like that. In my lifetime, yeah. granted, there's still a lot of life left to live, heaven forbid. Uh, but um, I, that's what I was shocked. At. I was like, "Wow, this is really yeah. happening in like, 2024." Whoa. To go to to answer your question, what was my first thoughts? Now that I think about, it, that's exactly what my first thought was. This is 2024. That this just happened. Yeah, like this is not a, a third world country. We, we, this is right. America, and all the cameras. All it's just like really, this. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. The timing was just is weird, you know. We had twenty twenty when he was going, you know, COVID and all that. But yeah, it, it's crazy. Twenty twenty four, it would never be forgotten. All right, B. I mean, you look nice. I know you just came from church. Thank you. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe you should do all your future episodes like that. Nah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Somewhere I have a nice shirt and a nice tie. I've given like, I think I've donated 90% of my clothes, dress clothes in the last four years just because I don't go to the office anymore. But uh, it was good yeah. seeing you. Nice uh, I'll seeing catch you, you on, on the chat feeds. And, uh, you know, you're my correspondent for all crazy shit. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll keep, we'll make sure everyone stays level and not all. So. Right. All right, man. Thanks, B. Yep. The Hard Parking Podcast. A little bit of cars, so much more available anywhere you get your podcast or check it out at hardparkingpod.com.